Okay, so we got the refrigerant cover recovered out of here. And remember, this is key off, engine off. Solenoid valve is not open. 560 grams. Let's pump out the rest of the refrigerant. So we'll put it in self-purge mode. This will get the last bit of liquid out of there. See how much liquid is stored in that condenser in there. It pumps it and cleans out the unit. So it'll go up to 560. We got, it's almost, it looks like 650 grams. So it pulled out 650 grams out of the system with the key off, engine off and refrigerant trapped in the other half of the system. So now I'm gonna go turn on the key and we're gonna watch how much more refrigerant. Well now, this was filled up yesterday with 1,080 grams. So all the rest of that refrigerant is trapped on the liquid side in the receiver dryer and on the liquid side in the liquid line. Now, as soon as I open up that key and I turn the key on, that valve is gonna open and release the rest of the refrigerant. Now somebody has it on an automatic machine and it just starts, thinks it's pumped down and it recovered all the refrigerant, but you still have all that refrigerant left in the system. And then the automatic machine will pump in 1,080 grams into the system. Now the system's gonna be way overcharged. So let's go turn on that key. And, uh, Key on. You can hear the click of the valve opening up over there. And now we're from a negative 1514. Now it's up to 57. It's a cold morning. This has been sitting overnight. So now the refrigerant has released from the high side over to the low side. All that trapped refrigerant was back here in this line right here because this valve was hard shut off, not allowing any refrigerant through. So now I could recover the rest of the refrigerant. All right, there we go. So there's no reason for me to make a third video on this because as you can see, the refrigerant level is now going up. This is now open. So now I'll recover all the rest of the refrigerant.